Now in this situation we have unidentified circuits. For example, up here you have a light fixture where you have it run but you don't know where the run is going. So what I'm doing is I'm using what's called a continuity tester. Right here is what it is. It has an indicator light on top. It indicates that the uh, it's on. What it does is, is when it completes the circuit you get tone and you also get a light. For example, the probe here which is the other half, when the two ends are connected you get tone which lets you know that you have a complete circuit. So what you have is a flashing probe and a flashing tester. Now what this can be used for is when you have a circuit where there's no power running to it and all the power has been cut to this house what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the probe up here to the top and I'm going to connect the tester itself onto the unknown wire by the box and then trial and error I'm going to be able to determine which one is the actual uh, circuit here. Alright so right now take the probe and connect it up it doesn't really matter what you connect it to do the hot and the neutral wire grounds are well. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the continuity tester and check it with the unknown wires here until I determine which one is the one the light fixture is on. But again, there's no power running to this right now. It's the only way I'm able to do this. So it's definitely this one, just to make sure I didn't get a false positive. I check one more. Okay. So what I've identified now is where that wiring's running all the way into the kitchen there, and now it comes back here. Now I'm able to take it into a junction box or whatever, or run it into the uh, panel. Once I've identified the circuit, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to label it here on my pad, I'm going to list all the different circuits so I know where everything is. I'm also going to label not only the fixture but also the wire where it comes in. It's just a two piece of masking tape. I'm going to go ahead and jot down what it is. In this case, I'm coding the circuit with a letter. And then I also write it here on the pad where I've listed all my other circuits. Now what I'm doing is I'm labeling the wires of the fixture.